Ever find yourself being called to the fridge again to eat late at night, wondering why this keeps happening? Today I'm going to share how we can end and free ourselves from eating late at night. Hey friends, we've all had those thoughts before that if we just had the willpower or self-control, we'd stop snacking and eating late at night. Or if we just had the perfect diet, none of this late night eating would happen. I know this all too well. Every day for over a decade, I would control every piece of food that went into my body. What I ate for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and any snack. It was exhausting. It definitely didn't feel good and it didn't feel natural. But it was what I told myself I must do to be fit, to be seen as what I thought was desirable and lovable. Not only was I lacking food throughout the day, but I was lacking the emotional support. The love that I craved was pushed down by the food I was eating late at night. So how does this relate to late night eating, you might ask? Well, to no surprise, we can only control so much before we inevitably lose control, and in this case, eat late at night. Because restricting our food and not feeling those uncomfortable emotions for years and years on end takes a toll on us. We become afraid to fail yet again another diet or live up to our healthy goals. So we go ahead and eat, even though it's the one thing that we want to painfully stop doing. It feels really good in the moment until all of a sudden this little thing becomes a nightly habit and we start to feel unhealthy or gain weight and feel really guilty about it. Now, I could give you a quick fix list of some practical tips to avoid those night cravings, but what I've learned is that we must get to the root of our late night eating. That the problem may not be having a jar of peanut butter because God knows how much I love peanut butter, but instead that we must need to relax and let off some stress. That our late night eating is actually a symptom of something much deeper that we may be eating late at night because we're not nourishing our bodies with wholesome food. We're not receiving the love and support that we're craving. I know this can sound crazy, but it's true. Once I stopped restricting and started listening to my body, I no longer craved late night food. So for now, let's find out why we're eating late at night and how to deal with it. Let's learn to identify the cause of our late night eating. We're all different and have different reasons for those late night cravings. Some of us may not be eating enough food throughout the day, not addressing emotional issues like being stressed from work, stressed about money, or not feeling understood and loved. There are millions of reasons and so many of us going through this. I want you to know that you're not alone, but I'm here for you and we'll get through this together. Before grabbing a late night snack, take a moment to pause and ask ourselves some questions. Why am I grabbing this? Did I have a stressful day? Am I really hungry? How do I usually feel after snacking and eating late at night? What could I do instead? Could I call a friend or read a book? Emotions are very hard to define, so we must take the time to pause, step back, and observe. This small pause can help us see how we're feeling and reduce our late night eating. And this, my friend, I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna say it, is self-love. This is so important. Practicing self-love is essential to becoming the best versions of ourselves and helping us overcome our own challenges. I have made a video that is dedicated to the practice of self-love. You can find it right up here and yes, this is how important I think it is. Eating late at night can also be a symptom of our schedules and how we manage our time. We may feel like there isn't enough time in the day, so we skip breakfast or up for something quick to eat. And all of a sudden, this can trigger our late night cravings. So try to pause. Oh, by the way, step back and ask ourselves some questions. Don't be shy, there isn't a right or wrong answer.
My second point for today is to stop restricting. Yes, I know that sounds crazy. Restricting bad foods and being on diets are what are supposed to make us thin and fit. But you know what? Constantly telling ourselves we aren't good enough, we aren't thin enough, that if we weighed a little less, our lives would somehow be better. Those constant thoughts are so heavy to carry and we can end up eating late at night again. Because when we restrict, we can feel deprived and that we're constantly missing out. Those limitations can push us to eating late at night again, even when we aren't hungry. Instead, we can cut ourselves some slack and be kind to ourselves. You know I live by that and that's my motto. So we can say, you know what? It's okay to have something sweet right now or later on. We can take the power back and later on, those once late night cravings will no longer be calling us into the kitchen. Now that we have identified why we eat late at night, let's set a small goal for this week. This goal can help us move towards a bigger goal later on of where and who we want to become. I can't stress this enough. Don't put a goal that may be too high or unrealistic, but instead set a small goal that we can measure and step by step, we'll get there. Having a small win will encourage us to keep it up. If we're looking to set a small goal around our food habits, our goal could be to add in an activity that can help out, such as writing down our thoughts in a journal every night. It's a great way to get our thoughts out and onto paper. I know this helped me a lot, so you could try it too. Another small goal could be to cook one home-cooked meal this week. We sure feel great when we can fill our bodies up with wholesome food. And it's also so self-rewarding when what we cook tastes delicious. I have lots, and I mean lots, of good recipes on my website, akindspoon.com. I spend a lot of time thinking about recipes. I love creating healthy options that don't compromise on taste. A lot of the recipes don't include any artificial sugars and preservatives, which can cause us to want to eat late at night. Deep down, we know that food is not the answer to that little bell ringing inside our heads. It's comforting and makes us feel good in the moment, but we all know after that last bite, we usually don't feel that great. What is so essential in breaking our late night eating cycle is that we have support. Another option for this week's small goal could be to reach out to someone when we have the urge to eat late at night. And let me tell you, I know firsthand that this isn't very easy because talking about our eating habits with anyone, and I mean anyone, can feel embarrassing. For years, I kept the secret to myself because I wanted to appear like I had it all together when actually I felt like I was falling apart. I thought that I was definitely smart enough to figure it out on my own, which turned out to be a lonely struggle. So if you think people can't understand or you have no one to share it with, I want you to know more than ever that I'm here for you. Let's try to set a small goal for this week and commit to it. I'll be here cheering you on. Yes, write it down. Take that one small goal for this week and write it down on a piece of paper. Place it somewhere that you can see it every day and not just in that notebook that you'll bury in the drawer like so many other little trinkets, you know, the ones you only find when it's time for spring cleaning. I like to use a sticky note and place it on my bathroom mirror or fridge. I even add to my fridge colorful post-it notes to encourage me to make healthy decisions. And be sure to share your goal. Double the work by writing it down in the comments below because when we share our goals, we feel more committed to them. And to make sure I see it, make sure to use the hashtag kind goal. Oh, wow, my friends, this was a good one. More than ever, I want you to know that I've been there before and I know that eating late at night isn't just a simple switch that we can turn off. It takes time to identify why we eat late at night and what we want to do to live the lives we desire. I too am still discovering every day. I will continue to be here for you and share more on Instagram. So make sure to follow me over there. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll be sharing even more videos with you. It means a lot that you're here with me. 
So until next time, don't forget to be kind to yourself.